and I'm waiting for the car to heat up and I figured I'd film this video while I still have some free time to myself. So I got some writing done. Um, I have found some places where I was like, oh, this is going to be future me's problem. It's now future me. And I'm remembering why I left it for future me. <laughs> and future me does not like this. But um, I'm making progress. I'm filling in blanks that I had left, finishing up scenes, and uh, it's going good. Okay, so now I'm in red because the truck in front of me just is just sitting there. <laughs> anyway, um, there's something actually I wanted to talk about today. More like a recommendation for you guys to go watch. As Jesse Gender just did a video with, I believe, Aranok about the latest The Last of Us episode. Even if you don't like The Last of Us, I feel like it's something worthwhile if you're a writer or a storyteller of any kind because they go into um kind of like the expectations of gay romances that they've gotten used to as lgbt members and um how the last of us got it right there's like uh this one thing they said like if you're lgbt if you're queer in any way and you're watching a queer romance like you're always waiting for like the shoe to drop and that like really resonated with me and I had watched the, the third episode, but I don't think I really truly appreciated it as much as I probably should have just watching it. But like listening to them talk about their feelings and what they're expecting and also coming from the game and knowing how the story originally went in the game and how it changed for the show. I, it's it's good. I like I like that episode even more now. So I feel like it's useful to writers even if like you don't know anything about The Last of Us or are interested in zombies or whatever. I still feel like the content like past all like the fangirling about the show and the game and stuff um, is good. Like it's it's good information to have in your head about how to approach gay romances and what might be in your head. Are you unconsciously making like a tragic gay romance? Like are you falling into these things? It's a good conversation. I will admit like if you don't like The Last of Us, it is kind of long to listen to the whole thing, but there's some good bits in there. Go watch it. I'll link it down below. Reading news. I haven't read too much. I am still working on the one book. I have not finished a single book this entire month. Just burnt out on books, I guess. You know, the problem with like quick update videos is that there's nothing to end with. You just gotta like end the video. So see you guys next week. Bye bye. I wonder how this coat's gonna sound in the video. Maybe I may be, be filming this.